Thank you, Laurent, for the kind uh, introduction. Uh, good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very happy to give you a short introduction in our, to our mobile strategy. Um, Immobilien Scout hopefully is known to you, at least the ones who have searched uh, for real estate in Germany should have used us. Um, and, uh, and most of you, are hopefully um, being mobile aficionados, have used us through mobile devices, I hope. Um, so I will explain you a bit about our mobile strategy, some facts, why mobile is a fantastic opportunity for us and what's the kind of future, how we see it in terms of uh, searching for real estate uh, through mobile devices. Let's start with some facts. Um, and mobile has been in the past a great challenge for us because it has is a huge technology change. Uh, penetration of smartphones uh, could have meant that we as a clear market leader could have been disrupted by a newcomer. Um, as we have disrupted the newspapers, um, that could have been a danger, but luckily we were relatively um, um, first changing our mindset to a mobile first philosophy and um, uh, through this um, mobile has become a great opportunity for us and uh, which means that we have widened the gap um, to our competition in the mobile area. So let's start with some facts. Um, around two years ago, um, 2010, our mobile traffic share was below 10%. Last month, um, here January numbers are here, last month in March it was 40%. That means during the course of this year, we expect that more um, people will use us through mobile devices, smartphones, and tablet PCs compared to the classical PC. That development has, has accelerated over the last two years, and you can see here the web traffic and the mobile traffic basically added on top um, of it. Uh, if you compare that share with the uh, general share of um, mobile traffic into the internet, it's about 13%, shows you that uh, real estate traffic tends to be more mobile, and we have used this to widen the gap towards competition. To give you some feelings, 25 million visits per month in Germany alone, uh, we have more than 5 million app downloads, and um, 200 million virtual real estate tours every month visit our basically portal and then contacting agents or private um, listers um, through phone or through mail. Interestingly, um, people tend to contact our agents through mail, even through their smartphones, more than just calling them, which is uh, something which we had not expected uh, beforehand. So this is the fact, and why have we been so successful? This is because Searching for real estate is something which is very suitable for the mobile use case. And there are several reasons. First of all, by definition, um, real estate is something which has to do with location, which you can do from abroad, but which you can also do on the fly while you're in Berlin, um, you, you like Prenzlauer Berg, you, you're uh, driving or, or walking through Prenzlauer Berg, you're interested what kind of flats are um, at offer here. This is a typical use case, or you're doing job interviews, say, okay, maybe I will start with this company which is located here. I don't want to commute more than 15, 20 minutes, so um, let's, let's do a real estate search around the office in order to find a good home. So this is the typical use case. The second aspect is speed. Um, in times of scarcity of um, uh, affordable living in cities like Berlin, Hamburg, or Munich, speed is of the essence, so you need to be fast. And when we alert our um, clients about a new flat, they're interested to see that immediately and uh, um, uh, look at it, say, is that something relevant in order to contact the agent or the, 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 the landlord in order to be one of the first um, um, interested parties. And that's why people are checking our real estate alerts early in the morning while they're in bed or while they're commuting to work. And third factor, real estate is also something very emotional. Um, real estate is about inspiration, about living your dreams, how you can improve, what is the next environment where you could live. And that's why people, especially in the evenings or uh, at the weekends, use tablet PCs uh, in order to browse through real estate. And 
think about their dreams, what they could afford, where they could live at a nice house, maybe at the beach uh, in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern uh, uh, or something like that. This is a typical use case which uh, we call couch surfing and which is usually also shared with, with your partner. And sharing with your partner, that is the fourth aspect of mobile. More than 70% of our users look for their new home together with someone, usually their partner, and sharing this um, this dreams, this also sometimes frustrating um, experience um, together. And that's why also the connection of multi-devices come into play. We found something interesting that the different devices are used at different times per day. This is the daily usage by type of device. And what you see is that in the morning, the smartphone is the hero. So while, or after, while you're having your first morning coffee or on your way to work, you're looking at the, um, the new alerts of real estate uh, in order to check um, is that something uh, interesting where I need to be first. Then you are at work during the day. The PC is used for researching the neighborhood, comparing different real estate and also contacting the agent. And then in the evening and also especially at weekends, as I described, um, the tablet PC is used to enjoy real estate and to share that together in a relaxed atmosphere together with your partner. <coughs> While mobile has in Germany been a huge driver of traffic and success for us, this development is even stronger in emerging markets. Last year, we have invested in Asia, uh, in the market leader in the kind of Imoscout of Singapore, uh, which is also uh, active in Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia. And these emerging markets are changing very fast. There is a kind of affluent new middle class moving into cities, looking for new condominiums. Huge um, levels of condos are built and need to be marketed. And in parallel, the internet, especially the mobile internet, is growing very fast. And that has led to a huge success of mobile uh, in countries like Singapore. You see it on the left hand. More than 50% uh, uh, of visitors come through mobile devices in Singapore. And in a country like Indonesia, where in general the real estate search over the internet is not widely spread, people are still very much newspaper readers, um, we see a fast uptake just through the uh, BlackBerry app, and we launched uh, uh, recently, last, last month, an Android app, and we expect that to increase very fast and cross the 50% mark very soon. So we see in emerging markets the mobile trend growing even stronger. So that's today. Let's look at uh, three major trends which we see in, in mobile, which we're looking at at the moment. And the first one is uh, building on the success and the more laid-back uh, use case on tablet PCs. Uh, we believe that the real estate search will also change from classical hard fact uh, search, how big should it be, how expensive can it be, where should it be, into uh, more soft factors. Um, so we're working on devices where you can decide what's the right neighborhood for you based on your personal interests. So the mobile internet will become much more personal than it, will, than it is today. So you can decide, okay, do you need a, um, a, a neighborhood which is uh, friendly for families where many kids are living, where I have the, uh, the, the right infrastructure? Is culture important? Is nightlife or restaurants important? So dependent on what are the criteria which, which interest me, uh, we will help people finding the right neighborhood to live in and then obviously search for the right uh, things. Um, so personalization and more emotional and non-fact-based criteria um, is one very important driver for the next product development stage. The second one is um, the, what, what we call second screen. Uh, we expect that TV screens becoming more and more interactive. This will be in one more additional device which will come into play, which we then need to connect. We have done our first experience with T-Entertain which is an interactive TV platform. The numbers are still small, but we have 
tried and tested that technology and we see it increasing. And uh, it's always important that we see and test new devices in a first way. And the, the real challenge is not to only make it available, but then synchronize the, the various devices. Because people naturally expect, if I store something and then share it on the smartphone, it needs to be available on the PC as well on the tablet or then on the interactive TV. So new use uh, scenarios and new technological uh, changes coming into play, which we expect here through the um, smart TVs. And the last one. Um, we expect that smartphones or mobile use cases are supporting the collaborative trend of searching for internet in a much more wider way than we see it today. As I said, more than 70% of users are uh, searching real estate together and sharing it. So the next step of our um, app uh, will contain ways to share, to comment, to react, to organize the whole process of searching for real estate together. Because this process usually takes, depending a bit whether you rent or, or buy, between three months and six to nine months. And it's many ups and downs. Um, you find something promising, and then you realize, OK, it's, uh, it's uh, next to a motorway. Or it, you don't get it, because you have 100 other uh, applicants basically um, also applying. So to manage that process from finding real estate to organizing the, the tour, to basically having the negotiation and managing the application and do that in a shared way. That's something which will be the next way um, how we see a real estate, watch, uh, real estate search working on the internet. And just to finish uh, up, to give you a feeling how we address this, we, three or four years um, ago, we started to outsource. The first app was developed by an agency. Uh, but soon after, we realized this is going to be very strategic, so we need to own it ourselves. And secondly, this is so core and close to our core application in terms of technology and understanding that we need to take it in-house. And uh, so we, we built um, teams, uh, an Apple team, um, Android teams, and also a mobile web uh, team, and basically changed and built the competence first. And then um, six to 12 months later, again, we decided, OK, this is not only an, an additional technology. This is something which becomes huge. So we need to change the mindset and get to a mobile-first philosophy. And that's why we develop most of our new applications and use cases first for mobile devices and then translate it later. And uh, recently, we decided to merge uh, basically the, the two teams. And uh, so everybody needs to, de and needs to de be able to do mobile now. Uh, so we, in fact, become a mobile company now. Um, and not a company which is doing both. So this is what basically uh, our experience, and uh, I'm curious and happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, thank you, Mark. Any any spontaneous question from the audience? Yes. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Are you? If you speak up, then that will do. Uh, so web uh, traffic is not increasing anymore because basically since five years it's uh, common that you use the internet for real estate. We have a 90% uh, penetration so there's literally not many people who are not using the internet anymore. So therefore basically the web is not increasing in addition to the mobile. So the, the growth comes purely through mobile. And what we see is that most people are using um, um, as I showed um, uh, it's in the other diagram, on a multi-device. So the percentage of mobile-only users are about 5% at the moment. So um, that's why the biggest challenge for us to do the synchronization right. Um, but wh where you're right is the mobile-only people are the younger ones. So the kind of digital natives. And this is what we expect to grow 
um, this 5% to 10, 15, 20 percent in the course of the next six to 12 months. Okay, we'll take a second and final question, then we'll uh, move on. No, we usually don't get it um, because the transaction is separate from the uh, from from our portal. We do get it from uh, through asking people when they deactivate their their ad, um, three uh, of around three to five percent, and we use this information in order to validate our price information. So we do real estate online valuation, we do price trends, etc., and we use this to calculate the difference between the asking price and the real transaction price. Okay, thanks very much, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.